hey, check this out. I'm going to show you how to insert uh, some point information that I received from a surveyor into a civil 3D drawing. And this, at first, let's take a look at the, the survey information that, that uh, I received. And what I have is a point file, a uh, CSV file. And if we right click on there and open with a notepad, we'll take a look at the data and how it's set up. The way this is set up is that uh, it's set up with a, a comma separation between each part of the uh, the data and I'm and I have a point number a northing an easting and an elevation and then a description so with that understanding we can go take a look at civil 3d and to insert uh, points into civil 3d we want to go to the insert ribbon and go to points from file and this dialog shows up. Now you're going to ch pick the uh, the format because we looked at the the survey information. You're going to pick the format of uh, PNEZD comma delineated. Now it's point northing easting Z or elevation description comma delineated. Uh, you could get different formats from surveyors or or f from uh, different people. Um, it may be space delineate, delineated, meaning there's no comma in there. Um, you may just get the point northing, easting, and uh, Z elevation um, with no description. Um, so for, for this data, we, uh, we know what we have, so this is what we're going to use. Uh, to bring that point in, we just simply pick the plus sign, navigate to our directory, and uh, pick the, the, uh, the point file that we received. And uh, I'm not going to add this to a point group because I'm going to show you how to uh, create one. So we say OK. And all of our points come in. Now, all these points are just check marks uh, where they're located. And the reason uh, Autodesk does this is that if you had a point file that had uh, a million points, two million points, um, you can imagine how slow your machine would get if you had all your your labels on and uh, so let's take a look at uh, how to turn our labels on if you go to your home tab a home ribbon you can pick this tool space and uh, your tool space opens up and you have prospector so under the tool space prospector and go to point groups expand your point groups and then say uh, all points which is where we imported all these points to you can right click and say properties under the properties you'll notice on your information tab that there is a, a basic uh, point style set up which is this X or check mark now there's there's some predefined uh, styles in here that you can pick from or you can simply pick the one that's close to what you like to see and, and uh, go in and modify it um, and that's maybe set up for another uh, another video in itself. Um, so we wanted the point labels to show up. And to do that, we simply change the point label style. And that's just a, a filter that uh, shows the information the way that you want it to be seen. So let's take a look. And again, there's some predefined uh, label styles. And uh, we're going to pick the point elevation and description label style simply say OK and what you'll notice is that all these points because they're in the all points get uh, get shown with this uh, this label style there's my point elevation and description now you might si say well th that's really jumbled up you got it at the wrong scale or whatever um, you can simply go down to the the right portion of your screen and change the scale and what you'll find is that it will scale all your points. Pretty cool. Um, so let's take a look at our data. We have a bunch of GS or ground shots. We've got some other information out here too. But for this exercise, I am just going to create, I, I want my, my GS points to show just the elevations. I don't want to see the point number. I don't want to see the, the description. I just want the elevation on there. But I also want the the TS1s and uh, top of slope or um, bottom of slope 
to still show up with the, the points. So show up differently. And uh, to do that, I'm going to go ahead back over to my tool space and my point groups. And if I right click on point groups, I can pick a new point group. And to do to to uh, to create this point group, I'm going to give it a name under the information tab. And that name I'm going to call, uh, let's say, NG for natural ground. And I want my point style to show basic, which is still going to be an X. And the, uh, the point label style, or the way that my text shows up, I want that to just show elevation only. Now, how am I going to filter out or just show the, the points that I want to see? You'll notice there's an include and exclude tab. We can uh, take a look at the include tab, and there's a bunch of filters that you can put in here. For, for this exercise, we're just going to deal with the raw descriptions, and we're going to uh, say that it was GS are the points that we want, and you can also use wildcards in case there was a GS1 or a GS2 or GS right, GS left, whatever. Um, you can put in uh, some an asterisk as a wildcard, and uh, You'll notice if you go over to your point list, it'll show you all the points that it filtered out of the all points group. Now, if you wanted to exclude some points, like there were some, some points in there that, that were just uh, on the wrong, you know, were in the wrong area or, you know, had the wrong elevation or something, you know, were busted, you could easily go in here and pick the uh, numbers matching and do a select uh, set in drawing. When you pick that, you can grab a bunch of points uh, and it will include them as a point uh, list here. But we're going to include them all. So we're going to say OK. And now you'll see that the uh, the ground shots are simply just showing the elevation. Pretty cool. You can go in and, and change these uh, the point label styles to show this at a 45. Um, and that is simply, again, going into your tool space. There's, there's a couple different places you can get to it. One is uh, taking a look at your, um, your point group. If you click on your point group, right click properties and uh, go ahead and edit current style, which is your elevations only. You get in there and you can, you can start messing around with uh, changing your, your rotation angle and different things. Um, but the other place that you can get it is still within your tool space, but you go to your settings tab and then you take a look at your points and your uh, your point uh, label style and you'll notice that uh, there's that little Nabisco wedge in there that means that it's in use. We're using it. Um, but we also have uh, elevation only. If you right click edit, you can change it there also. Um, now something to keep in mind is why is it showing the ground shots this way and the all points this way? Why isn't it showing all points um, with that filter? Now, uh, what's going on here is back at the Prospector tab under your tool space, uh, if you take a look at this, you have natural ground. It, it, basically, it works from top to bottom. It takes the points, it runs, it, it takes a, and runs it through this point group. So all the points that hit this point group are being applied with the with the um, the elevation that meet the the criteria that we had set forth with that point group, which was the the uh, um, GS description, and uh, it, and then it applies the uh, the label style and the and the point style, and then it goes through and reads the next one down. Now, if you had a bunch of different point styles here, you could simply um, change the order of the filtration of those points and to do that you, you go to your point groups right click go to properties and you can simply just move it up and down on the list so if I move the natural grade underneath the point uh, all points it's going to read all the points through all points first and then it's not going to show um, it's not going to run anything through natural ground because everything hit the, uh, the all points first. So if we apply that, you'll notice that all these points, if we apply it, come on, say okay, all these points are hitting the all points first. So 
let's go ahead and, and change that back so we go to properties move the all points down on the list say okay now what if we wanted all the points that were in the all points to not show up but we wanted this natural ground stuff to still show up you could create another uh, point group that goes through and has no uh, has no point styles and no uh, label style and you can include all and let's give this a description of um, say no show say okay now it hit that first because it's first on the list so it's not showing any points but if we do a right click on the the point group properties we can move that down on the list so now it's going to hit natural grade first and then it's going to go to the no show so if we say okay it shows all the points that it hit first and then it hit the no show and it doesn't uh, show the rest of the points I could go on and on um, check out my videos rate this one and uh, subscribe and hopefully there'll be more to come thanks